Hello and welcome to Hugo Farm. This is episode 12. We've just arrived back from doing our morning chores, which you saw in the last episode. And we're just going to do a quick repair on the tractor, get it all up to scratch, and then we're going to start on the rest of today's work. Well, there we go. That is 100% workability. <laughs> The tractor is 100% serviceable. Right, so first job this morning is to do all the weeds in the fields that we've planted already. And nice question, a question of finding the weeder. I think it's around the back actually. Yeah, there it is. We're going to get that hooked up. We'll start on the fields just in front of us or in front of the sheds, get those done. Shouldn't take too long, it goes at a pretty rapid pace. We'll get it started and then we'll just do it on a bit of a time lapse, just to show you the whole job. So we'll start here. Yeah, so, um, what I have noticed, and I hope that it remains that way, is that um, if we weed with this weeder, um, essentially on the, on the, in the month after we've planted, it shows up as partially weeded, but it does seem to give us, or will not penalize it, us too much in terms of the yield. If we just do the one, the one weeding as such. Right, there we, as you say, as you see at the bottom of here, it says partial. But I kind of just do one pass of these and just leave it as that because I did test um, in one of the earlier episodes, and even though it said partial, and I tried to weed again in the month afterwards, um, it wouldn't do anything. So, quite happy with what we're doing right now. Just do a couple of passes and then I'll put it onto a time lapse. The last time we did the weeding, it did seem to work quite well. We didn't seem to lose too much in terms of the um, yield of the crops. So, yeah, quite happy with that. It's eco friendly. The um, power doesn't take a lot of, or the weed doesn't take a lot of power. And away we go. We'll see you once it's done. three fields that need to be weeded just about done. We'll finish it off in this pass. Fairly quick process. 
we do need a 10 11 miles an hour so yeah not too much of a stress of course the fields that we have plowed up to the left of us here will not need to be weeded once we plant we'll be planting those most probably in the next episode or so okay time to get this back go and drop this off and then i think it's time to look at the um the cornfield see about getting that harvested let's go and drop this off first and we'll get the trailer hooked up get the tractor and trailer out to the field and by the by the time we've got that sorted out we will then or once we've got that sorted out should i say we will um go and arrange for a harvester of course we'll have to plant some trees as well we'll get that sorted out let's drop that off let's go pick up the trailer which I think is still in the workshops just drive through the bushes <laughs> Oy! that'll teach me to try and take shortcuts taking a taking a few uh, miles off the tires there <laughs> oh dear right let's get it all hooked up Cornfield is not going to take long to uh, to harvest. It's not very big, but we'll have to harvest it. So probably didn't think it through properly right at the beginning. Should have got everything to be to harvest at the same time, so that we didn't have to hire a harvester and twice and incur two sets of costs. Right, let's get some trees planted. I think we need to get some of the uh, big oaks planted or something like it. Right, which ones are we going to do? Let's have a look. Large pine. That's, I think, what we're going to do. 800 quid each. So harvest this, so we need to plant three. We have a nice little forest here eventually, which is good. Quite happy with that. Right now, let's get on to getting ourselves a harvest at least. I think we'll just use the dates for. It's big enough and small enough to handle the job reasonably cheap I suppose we could do it with the uh, smaller one as well but I like this top liner right it's still gonna cost us six thousand so this is the price we pay for using fossil fuel and machinery it becomes expensive so we're gonna try and duck and dive it until we can find a suitable harvester that is uh, electrically powered Right, let's just connect up the corn header and we'll head up to the field and then get it harvested. It's not going to take long. It's probably going to take longer to drive up there than to harvest it. <laughs> uh, such is the way of things, isn't it? Yeah, it hasn't got exactly a huge top speed, 12 miles an hour. But then again, it's not supposed to be traveling huge distances but I think it would just be too expensive to hire a uh, low bed trailer and, then, and tow it up here with that so spend a bit of time we'll go and get it we'll get it done it's not going to take too long I don't know how much we'll get Should should get uh, I don't think we'll get a full a full combine a full load in the combine so yeah there we go it's not a massive width but uh, 
We'll get it done. There's a straw source coming up, but I'm thinking that I won't, uh, won't worry too much about this one. Cost too much to hire a uh, forage loader. I don't think I have a forage loader, do I? No. We'll check it out over time. Right now, I just want to get the harvest in. We'll put it onto a bit of a time lapse as well. Not necessarily as fast as the other one, but uh, just get through the job. So this will go into the into the mill, and we can get uh, pig feed out of it as well. Just checking everything there. That's it. Going well. We might be able to just deliver straight from this into the mill. Uh, I'll put it in, I'll put it in the trailer. We've got the trailer ready. Do it right, as they say. <laughs> we'll get the uh, harvester returned as soon as possible so that we can minimise our Leasing costs. Yeah, this is not going to take too long. Oops. Straying, strayed slightly there. Where are we now? Yeah, we're definitely not going to fill this. So we'll have to look look at the effectiveness of this field in the future. Maybe we'll have to plant something that is maybe sugar beet or something like that, which uh, gives a lot of yield per per hectare. Also. The, don't need a huge space to grow it. Well, that's if we if we're gonna do sugar beet. Well we'll see. We'll see. One never knows. I think we've got this last uh, this last one to be done and then it's done I think. Probably have to just uh, clean this up quickly. Didn't quite make a hole. Strange, it was just that one little area. Not a serious problem though. We'll go and get the uh, the trailer. Pull it in, load it up, go and offload it. Ah, I should have put the pipe out. You know what's going to happen now, I'm going to be too close or something. Ah, doesn't really matter. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's just a way of things, isn't it? <laughs> uh, it's not a real major problem. Just rearrange it. How many litres did we get? That's only about 4,000 litres. So we've got the guards from the shop to come and uh, pick up the, the harvester. It's gone back to the shop. We've got the 4,000. We'll just pop this into the 
into the mill, get it started. There we go, and that's that done. Well, just about done. Yep, that's it done. Well, I think there's one final job we need to do. Just going to add a bit of water into the greenhouses. Shouldn't take too long. Hook up the trailer without taking down the supporting poles, of course. <laughs> there you go. And fill up. We'll just pop some water into the two greenhouses, make sure that they are kept operating. We don't want those to run dry. We'll have to check the manure and such like and the um, plant fertilizer. Make sure that that's also okay. This for now, we'll have to just keep our eye on that in the future though. There you go. Pull this one up. I don't think it'll take the full load. No. Put the rest into the big one. Yeah, I think I probably mentioned in the last episode that we will be expanding our greenhouse operation. Um, We'll probably get another big one I think and uh, we're also going to fruit trees. Looking forward to doing that, I haven't done that before. Right, well, I think that's where we're going to end this episode. We'll go and get this all parked up and in the next episode I think we'll start um, looking to plant some more wheat or barley or crop like that into the um, fields that we've already ploughed. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. It does help us. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.